Hey guys, good morning. It is actually freaking gorgeous here right now. The only thing I would wish for is that it warms up a bit. It's been about 60 degrees and sunny the last few days and I'm ready for it to be like 90. Who's ready for 90? I'm ready for 90. Today is my first day back after my radiator repair. Everything seems to be going really well. Um, I also, like I had said before in the previous video about that, is we had also replaced a hose and the turbo boots. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm heading solo to a job and I think there's a few other trucks on it. So it's a plot. I don't do a lot of this, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I really hate not having my trailer. There's lots of reasons. And um, the main one being that basically the suspension is super bouncy when there's no trailer behind it, which bumps me out a lot. Uh, I had some bumps on the freeway today because we don't have good roads here. And I hit some bumps on the freeway today and I was like, ah, and I almost like, I almost died, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the there's lots of reasons, especially the more I drive solo, the more reasons come up like why I want my trailer. The other one is that seriously, I don't know what gives people the idea that they should just like get right up to my rear tires and then like either like go around me or just like follow me right there. Everyone that's like freaking out about rock chips and you know, tarps and stuff, I guarantee you those are the people that are complaining about it. Those are the people that are like right up in your butt and all the rocks that are on the ground from, you know, however, <laughs> probably from people getting gravel in their pickup and not cleaning their bumper off before they leave. But uh, anyways, I digress. Um, basically, they're getting shot in the windshield with the rocks because they're right up behind you. But anyway, so I'm heading into this job. It's solo. There's like five or six trucks on it. And um, we're going to be going over to another job that I was at. The one I was actually on when my truck broke down, I believe. I haven't double checked the address, but I, I from the, the information that I have, I'm pretty sure it's the same job. But that's gonna be an easy run, just heading out to the uh, freeway, uh, high, or yeah, Interstate 405, and then up to I-5, and it's on 164th and Linwood, or like right off 164th, um, right by the bowling alley, if you're from this area, which I am, I grew up here. Oh, I'm like, I'm trying to follow the GPS to this job, and it's uh, keeps changing direction. But yeah, let's go check it out. Let's see what happens when we get in here. So, half mile away. I've been to a job down here. I was dumping dirt at it recently, actually. I think that, I'm trying to think back when I was doing it. I think I was working for Pelco, because the Pelco trucks were there. But I was in my truck, I was in this truck. And it was a BDZ job that we were dumping dirt at. The kid. I see right here on the right. I can't make that turn. Come on. I can't make that right hand turn with the car. The car's right there. Get out of the way. Okay. Get your Mazda out of my way. I'm, I'm convinced that I'm invisible to people. Like, they don't even see me. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. I think the entire drive down here of the, of the cars following so close that I feel like I'm, I'm towing them. That's giving me a little bit of stress this morning.
Yeah, that BDZ job that we were dumping dirt at from the Pelco job last fall was straight ahead here. Or I guess you would have to take a little bit of a left. What? It's crazy to be back here in this this area in Bothell because you have these these giant houses intermingled with these neighborhoods, and it's it's pretty funny. Like, you know, four or five thousand square foot mansions, and then a plot. Okay. It's like. I can always back out on solo. Oh, there is a construction site over here. A radio well. Didn't hear anybody. Oh, we're exactly right at our load time. I bet everyone else has already been in it. Not. Seven fifteen was my load time. Oh, there's the LDP trucks. I'm guessing I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a wrong or right yet. We're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'm guessing you guys came up this little road here, pulled up towards the townhomes, and then backed up. Yeah, but is it tight going through those houses, or should we go out that way? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's fine. It there's just a lot of people. <laughs> okay. I definitely wouldn't recommend coming in way though it's you got to pull way down here to get a, enough angle to change direction on your truck yeah once you get back man pull back up by them pickups till we get a couple loaded and out of here though it's kind of tight back in here I'll probably shut off the camera until we figure out what's going on and then I'll turn it back on when I actually go to get loaded. See you guys. In Basically, there was just a delay and they weren't loading trucks because they weren't ready. I don't know. I don't know why they ordered trucks that starting at 7 a.m. if they weren't gonna start loading until it was like 7.30 when they started loading.
are so far over in the middle of the road. What are you doing? Go ahead. Okay. I think you're ahead of me anyways. Yeah, I think so, but if you wanted to go first, I wasn't going to tell you no. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Get the same amount of rounds, probably. Okay, cool. Oh, they want, if they want eight rounds, I should check the dispatch. And probably it'll be kind of a long day. from every truck and let's see how far away the other job is from here. going down these hills, it'll 
basically it'll lock the axle up and it won't create any more traction. It'll just only provide enough pressure to basically scrub a flat spot on my tires. So I will wait. Get what he would just carry the one that two two by fours on the <laughs>
did only make it to seven. I guess they, we got all the dirt out, so I guess that's what they wanted, right? I'm gonna go over here because I am gonna drive out of this spot. I'm gonna drop the box down, lift it back up. I gotta check to make sure that the makes me nervous. All right, guys. Well, that kind of sucked. I mean, it was a fine day. It just, I'm ready for the long days of summer. You know, the ones where you get in the truck at 4.30 in the morning freaking six o'clock when you get home and you're getting paid for most of those hours today i did the I did seven loads and they were they wanted us to get eight and it just i don't know um the guy on the ground here that signed me out he could um understand what i was asking him which is fine um i was asking him if they ran out of dirt on the other side or if they had enough dirt here or what it was but it's all good. I get to head home a little early, even though I wanted to put in more hours. So I got seven hours of billable time, which is fine. So I, you guys can do the math on that. I'll put it on the screen. So 146 times seven. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. And if you're interested in merch, the link is in the description. I will see you guys next time.